All right, so welcome back. We're gonna finish out the uh, the last 10 in the uh, Inventor Certified User Exam number two series. So question number 21 says, we wanna open up Spacer IPT. So I'm gonna file and look for Spacer IPT. And wait for it to open, any day now. All right, so there we go. So then it says change the equation for the outside fillet to be inside fillet, um, blah, blah, blah. So to do this, what I would do is I would go up to where you see the, uh, the parameters, the F of X button up here, click that. So now you can see it. it says change the equation for the outside fillet. So outside fillet, instead of it being four millimeters, we wanna make that inside Inside, come on, let me type inside fillet two, like so. Just make sure you type it exactly what they say. And then change the cutout height to be height divided by two. So the cutout height is going to be the height H E I G H T divided by two. It says add a numeric user parameter called variable. So we're gonna add a numeric user parameter. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add numeric user parameter and add a, add a numeric user parameter called variable. So we're gonna name this variable. with an equation of outside fillets. The equation is gonna be outside fillet. Star two. It says add a dimension for the overall length of the sketch. So I'm gonna finish these. I'm gonna go to done here. And this is add a dimension for the overall value of the sketch. So I'm going to go to, I might right click, go to edit sketch. Wait, I don't want you. I'm going to right click, edit sketch. So we're going to add a dimension to the uh, overall link. So I'm going to go up to dimension. I'm going to click on one side and the other. I'll drag this thing up. And then it says set the value of the dimension to be variable. So I'm gonna double click here. I want this to be variable, variable, variable star six, hit the check. And it says, what is the value of the overall length? So to turn my dimensions back into values instead of the formulas here, if you go down to the bottom here, you see the expression. I'm gonna click on the little arrow next to it. I'm gonna go to click on value. And so now you see that the overall length is 45 for this, if you typed in all that correctly. So 45, and then go to next. So there's how to do that one. And then this one is we're gonna open up PC board cover IPT. I'm gonna go to close this out. We're gonna open up um, PC board cover, PC board cover here, yeah. open it. It says delete, let me get rid of this answer here. Delete only the feature logic sensor from the model. All other features must remain. So for logic sensor, I'm just gonna right click. I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to delete. But I'm gonna leave all these. So it says, do I wanna additionally delete these? I'm just gonna say no, I'm gonna uncheck these just because I, it said only delete that and all the other ones must remain. So just to be safe, I'm gonna hit, uncheck that, hit okay. And then now it says, what is the mass of the part? So I'm going to go to file, I properties, physical, update, the mass is 8.373. 8.373, click on next, so there's that one. I'm gonna close out of this, save no, we're gonna open up switch cover. 
switch cover here. It says the existing configuration has standoffs extended through the interior of the part. So it has these three little leg thingies here. It says remove these by, by reordering. Let me get rid of that. Reordering the features in the browser to remove the standoffs but keep the holes. So what we want to do here is we're going to we're going to grab the shell too and we're going to left click and hold we're just going to drag this up before the holes. So we're going to reorder parts in the browser. And then once we've done that, you can see that our holes are still there. Now those little legs are are gone. So then it says what is the mass of the part? So I'm going to, go to file i properties physical update the mass of the part is 0 0.179 0 0.179 and click on next all right this one here let me get rid of the uh, answer all right so it says open up valve ipt let me close this save changes now all right open Valve, it says the hole in the flange is located by a sketch, which would be this hole right here. What is the equation used to find the location of the hole? So we need to find the sketch that this hole was created, which could be, you know, sometimes complicated. So I'm just going to kind of open up some of these items here and look for where that where that sketch is located when it lights up over here. Do, do, do. That hole. So it's this one here, sketch 10, right? So when I hover my mouse over sketch 10, that hole lights up. So I'm going to right click, edit sketch. And then what does it say? It says, what is the equation used to find the location of the hole? So I know it's hard to see there, but that the blue on top. I'm not sure if I can hit the if I can hit this slice graphics. That doesn't really help. Anyway, but what I want to do is just like we did the other one. I'm going to go to my dimensions here, where you see the tolerance. No, not yeah, the tolerance. And I'm going to click on the arrow next to it. We want to this time we we're given the value, but we want to find the equation. So I'm going to click on expression. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. Can I double click this? Yeah. So it says, what is the equation used to find the location of the hole? Um, the equation used to find... Oh, it's not that. I'm sorry. It's not that. It's this one here. It's this one here. I'm going to double click this. Sorry. I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to control C for copy that and then I'm going to control V to paste it in. So yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's the uh, equation to find the, to find the hole. Then go to next and we got that correct. And then these, for these, some of these, there's nothing to really do. You just know it or you don't. So it says, which of the following is not an inventor file type? So I've, yeah, I've never heard of .prn. This is a, a inventor part, inventor assembly, inventor presentation, inventor drawing, a drawing is an AutoCAD drawing or a inventor drawing. You can use either one of those, but IPRN, I don't, I don't even want to guess what that means, but so that's one that's not. So select that one, go to next. And then again, it says, what method can be used to set the current view as the home view on the view cube? So usually you'd right click the home, the picture of the home, and then set that to the current view. So it would be right click on the view cube and select set current view as home. Hit the next. And then what tool is used to create the angled edge shown in the image below? So you know that the tools, so a fillet would create it like a rounded edge. A chamfer would create a, an angled edge. So just you just know that chamfer. You can also go up to the tools up here. Um, 
I think it would have to be, we'd have to finish this sketch. And now you can go up to chamfer and kind of hover your mouse over it. Kind of see if you're not exactly sure what they do. You can kind of hover your mouse over it and kind of, kind of tells you what they do, like so. But I'm not sure if that's if they're gonna that's gonna be an option on the test. I, I can't remember if they show you those, but I think they do. So chamfer is the answer to that. I digress. I'm gonna continue. Yes, and then so this one here says which of the options in the image below represents a projected view of the original assembly. So this one is a sketch. This one is a, an orthographic view. Um, so the project the projected view would be this three-dimensional um, concoction here, number two. So option two. Option two next. And then true or false, suppressed features in an assembly do not appear on the bottom in the bill of materials. So just know that even though if you suppress an item, it, it, it vanishes, it's, it's technically, it, it doesn't show, but it's still there in the, uh, in the part. So um, it would still appear in the, in the BOM. Um, so that would be false. Suppressed features do appear in the BOM. If you delete it, then it, obviously it's not going to, so this would be false. And then the last one, the last one kind of took me a while to kind of, kind of think through, but um, it says a part has been made by creating two extrusions from the shared sketch one. If you were to make a change to, to sketch one by double clicking, um, what would be the effect of the overall part? So if you, if you change sketch one, then it's going to, it, it's going to also adjust extrusion one and two. So because those are both kind of being, they're both kind of dependent on, on that, on that sketch. So that would be the correct answer there. And hit next. So right, we got, we got through it. So, um, continue. Uh, do I want to continue? Or do I, yeah, continue. All right, so there's that. So we got we got kind of through them. Hey, we got everyone. I'm correct. So, of course, it only took me what four hours to do this, but yeah, I was just trying to use this as a as a training exercise. But so there's how to go through those and do those. So I hope that kind of helps you prepare for the actual certified user exam, and I hope you do really well. I hope you pass. So if you do pass, let me know. I'd like to hear from you. All right, peace out.